What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss uh, what's the data saver in your Samsung phone and uh, how you can actually make use of that to actually restrict the background usage, background data usage of your applications. So I'm going to divide this video into two parts. The first part is like, you know, I'm going to talk about what's the data saver app. And the second part, I'll talk about how you can turn it on and turn it off and also make exceptions. So let's talk about what's the data saver app. This feature is actually by default inbuilt in your Samsung phones and uh, using this feature you can actually restrict the background data usage of your apps and that's how you can actually save on your mobile internet so that you know uh, without your permission no application will actually use data on your phone. And now we'll discuss how to actually enable and disable the app and also make exceptions to this process. So let me set up my device and I'll walk you through how you can do that. So let's go to settings and start the tutorial. So go to settings, go to connections and you will see a, a, an option called data usage. You can just click on that. And you see there is an option called data saver. It is actually turned on for me. So what this means is, so let me click on that and I'll show you what it is. So data saver actually helps you cut down your data usage, you know, by restricting the applications in the background to actually automatically, uh, you know, use data on your phone. Um, you are actually okay on your Wi-Fi, but on mobile data, you know, which is like really expensive, you don't want to do that. So, uh, you know, I actually have it turned on because I don't want, you know, any application, like most of the applications in my phone to actually use data without my permission, without my knowledge. Uh, and that's how, you know, I'm actually saving on my mobile data. If you have like unlimited data on your phone, like cellular data, then, you know, you actually don't need to do that. But otherwise, uh, you can actually turn it on and uh, turning it on, uh, you know it doesn't affect any application however it will just restrict all the email notifications any like facebook notifications or you know any any notification uh, that is actually uh, sent to your phone because you are actually restricting data usage however if you click on this button then you can actually uh, you know uh, make exceptions to that so for example if you want to like you know turn uh, like uh, turn um, facebook notifications on like uh, you want facebook to show you notifications all the time just click it on and uh, facebook will not be affected by data saver similarly you can actually turn on uh, email notifications or maybe whatsapp notifications so that you know they are not affected by data saver otherwise all the other applications will be restricted so let me show you what current situation is since i already have my data saver on and uh, you know if i go to my yahoo mail you will see it will actually load now because you know it's still loading so see all the emails are just loaded right now if the data saver was off these emails would have been loaded automatically and i would have also got a notification that you know there's a uh, new email you know uh, when, when you have data saver on let me zoom into the phone you see there is a like little, little triangle uh, icon on on top which is like you know uh, a data sent and received uh, symbol inside inside the triangle that symbolizes your data saver is actually on i really like this feature because you know it helps me save data and you know there is no background app that is actually uh, uh, that is actually uh, using my data without my knowledge and, uh, and, and instead i've actually turned on my facebook and whatsapp so that you know they are not affected by data saver and this is pretty much it from this video I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you and if it was, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more cool videos like this. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.